another program that we're very excited about uh, is the Lumasaran program, and that actually just started phase three clinical development here at Al Nilam. Uh, Lumasaran is targeted towards a rare disorder that affects about three to five thousand patients uh, in the U.S. and Europe, uh, called primary hyperoxaluria type one. This is a disorder where the body produces too much oxalate uh, and it crystallizes a calcium oxalate. This can manifest very, very early uh, in, in infancy um, and it often leads to calcium oxalate deposition in the kidney, leading to kidney failure. Uh, and then as calcium oxalate uh, can't be uh, excreted through the kidney anymore, levels build up uh, in the blood and then they can deposit in other tissues, weakening the bone, the heart, going into the eyes. Uh, and so this is uh, a really devastating uh, illness. Uh, and right now, there aren't a lot of great treatments for it. Um, primarily, patients need to uh, get on dialysis, uh, sometimes up to six times a week. Sometimes they need nocturnal dialysis. They have to drink large amounts of fluid to try and flush out the oxalate. Um, and so this is really uh, a very burdensome illness for patients. Uh, as I said, it's a rare disorder affecting about three to 5,000 patients in the U.S. and Europe. Uh, we've been able to develop uh, Lumasaran as an RNAi therapeutic that can actually reduce the production of oxalate from the liver. Uh, and uh, our hope is that that will actually then ultimately lead to delays or prevention of the kidney failure and this concept of systemic oxalosis where oxalate deposits in other tissues outside the kidney which uh, have you know morbidity and mortality associated with them. So that's just entered phase three clinical trials. Uh, we'll be doing a number of studies in patients with different degrees of renal dis dysfunction, uh, different age groups, uh, both looking at adults and pediatric patients um, to document the efficacy and safety profile of Lumasaran uh, for this rare disorder.